Hello everyone, this is Ronnie Pacheco from the VIP team for Spring 2019 and this is just going to be a quick video to introduce the VIP version 10 to the upcoming team it will be version 11 and it's just to see, you know, show around what VIP is so first of all vertically integrated projects you can go into the documentation for more explanation more technical explanation but as to the development teams I would say that this is the, the site that is in charge of the projects and then team creation for senior projects. It used to be only for computer science, but now the, the class, um, the project is also take this site is also taking care of the uh, mechanical engineering students. If you go to the actual production site, which is this one, vip.cis.fi.eu, you can see that MME is for mechanical engineering and then CIS is for computers information science. So yeah, so there's three different users on the on the site will be the admin or the PI, the faculty members and then the students. The admin can do anything, in our case would be Dr. Masu Sajadi. You uh the development team will be given the credentials to access as an admin so you can guys test and do more things but he you know uh, the, the admin can actually impersonate some users like this you can just go ahead and look for my name the server is kind of slow right now for some reason so that's why it's taking forever to load but if you go here and then oh see just populated everything if you go there, click on this and then impersonate. Hello. Go. As I mentioned, the site is a little slow, so I'm just going to fast forward. And I'm back. Sorry for the problem. For some reason, the site has been slow uh, as of the moment where I'm recording the this video. As you guys can see, now I'm still the admin, but I'm on impersonation mode in which... I can do things like register myself to other projects, but this could be done for testing purposes. If you want to test something as a faculty member or as a student member, you can just go ahead and sign in as the admin and do whatever you need to do uh, in impersonation mode. So let's just go back and log in. See, now I logged out and now I'm back to the admin. Another thing that the students can do is use the search filter. Just Pretty much a search bar to think, do things like search for JavaScript and then it will show all the projects that have JavaScript or somewhere in the description so they can register to those projects to projects that best fit their interest and let's just go into uh, the development environment we are using um, VS Code if you guys look into the documentation, we already have the installation manuals here. And, you know, for the IDE, we're using Visual Studio. And, you know, we have Node.js, Mongo, Git, and then Copas as a GUI for the database. But if you want to look more into that, there's another video on these technologies and how to kickstart the project and then how to install everything and then set up the the and development environment. I just wanted to go into VS Code and really do a really quick uh, tips and overall how to look into and develop this project. So for the connection with uh, Mobile Judge, what you would like to do is go into the APIs and the routing services and then users. This is how Mobile Judge connects to um, connects to VIP. And then all the different routes is where you are going to be able to add courses, change profiles, skills, and then even change, you know, some of the users as well for the for VIP. So this is one of the most important files and folders as well. The models are how we are saving, how we are creating objects and then saving saving them for these schemas and then saving everything into Mongo. These are pretty much the settings for the database. And then the really important thing that you will spend most of your time 
would be into um, the web app so if you go into code web app and then features this is pretty much where the coding takes part okay. so we are using angular in this project so I would really recommend you guys to start um, working on angular first at least know the basics on how to communicate between um, the model the view and the controller how they in, uh, interchange information so pretty much you know the view the front end and then the back end will be the controller and how you send information back and forth in between those and then the database would really look I would really recommend you guys to look into that before start developing because we and um, we had that problem that we did not know how to how angular worked when we started this working on this project and then just trying to brute force any everything created more questions so I would recommend to look into you know what the scope is in angular how to interact and send information back and forth and then how to you know how the controller part takes care of like how to send in the different functions how to set up all the stuff I would say you know the just the syntax is really important because even though it looks like JavaScript well even though it is JavaScript it does have certain differences into like how to close some things as you can see for example here we have no parentheses and things like that uh, it gets easier over time but at the beginning it does seem a little scary so I would really recommend you guys to look into how node works java you know javascript and then angular and i don't see anything else so i say thank you for watching i'll make sure these are the certifications this is the deploy file this is the deploy file in which you will be given some more, more instructions under the, the documentation on how to call this so you don't have to write many commands for example this npm that runs our local will just kickstart your local server so this has been everything it was just a quick introduction of the project and then how to look into it quick pointers you know look into angular i cannot stress this enough so if that will make things a lot easier thank you for watching